Hey, welcome to Thumb Tacos. My name is Jared. Today we're going over how you can have a great positive stream every single time you go live so you don't ride the roller coaster of the ups and downs that everybody is on. If you're like me, you know what I'm talking about. We go through tremendous highs where everything feels awesome and streaming is great to these sunken lows where beating up ourselves and feeling really down. You don't have to feel like that anymore. There's a way out of it. and I think I got an easy enough way to get you guys to that point so every time you go live, whether or not you have a good stream is in your hands for once. Stay tuned. As always, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. If you could consider hitting that like button, subscribe to the channel. It makes a huge difference. And then you can keep up with my weekly content of making us all better streamers. These videos are inspired by my own experiences as I grow my channels. If you guys ever want to talk live, my links are in the description below. All right, let's get to it. Streaming is one of the toughest things you're going to go through. If you're just starting out, you have no idea what you're in for. You are going to feel awesome, terrible. You, people are going to say shit to you that are going to drive you insane. You're going to be belittled. You're going to be super tired. You're going to get burnout. A lot of negative things that nobody really talks about, but it doesn't have to be like that. It doesn't have to be a negative experience. You can have a very positive experience. We just need to do a few things and tweak our mindset a bit so when we move forward on streaming we can really be in control and we can really have those positive experiences every single time well how do we do that you need to identify the three parts to a stream and then realize that you're you are in complete control of two of those things so if you can get a two out of three every time you stream well hey that's positive that's better than 50 percent. so it's about the best i can do but let me explain what i'm talking about the three parts to streaming are simply you as a streamer, the content, whether it's a gameplay or whatever you're doing live, and three is the chat. That's really it. Now you have control of you as the streamer. If you can come in with a positive attitude and a plan, I can't stress that enough. Have a plan when you go live. Really understand what you're gonna do with that stream. That includes your content, whatever game you're gonna play or if you're gonna do a tutorial on something or if you're gonna make something, if you're gonna paint something, whatever it is that you're gonna go live with, have a plan and know what you wanna do. Then the third part is the chat, which unfortunately isn't up to you, but I'll tell you what, if you cover the first two really well, the chat will take care of itself. You can't totally control how people are gonna be in the chat, whether they're gonna be talking a lot or if it's gonna be more relaxed, but what you can do is take control of those other two out of three things so they can have a positive experience no matter how your viewers is. Now, one other secret tip that I've been doing lately, has, which has been wonderful, turn off your viewer count. I've been saying this in the last few videos for a reason. It really helps keeping you maintained, focused, and you'll have more consistent viewership if you are not looking and worried about people watching you. Another thing you have to completely throw out of your mind is views. Views don't mean a damn thing when you're live because you can create content with nobody watching and repurpose that content, you can put it out on the internet and get more followers and get more attention on yourselves. So I recently no damaged Mario one and I took that video that was like 45 minutes long and I shrunk it down just to that gameplay and then I repurposed it and I got like 50 followers on Facebook gaming alone just from content like that. If you go live on Twitch, you have a highlight where something really exciting in gameplay happens or whatever you're creating, you can take that and repurpose it somewhere else. That has nothing to do with the views or how many people were there or whatever was going on. That's the example I'm talking about today. These are the experiences that I'm, I, I believe very strongly in replay value and repurposing your content. That is part of the reason why my channel is somewhat successful. Now I'm not huge, I'm not some massive streamer making millions of dollars or anything like that. I do consider myself a successful streamer and it's not impossible for you to become a successful streamer. You just gotta recognize where the value is in streaming instead of worrying about all the hangups that people get hung up on. Worrying about things that you have no control of. Start focusing in on yourselves and the content you are creating, and I guarantee you, you will have a better experience in streaming. Believe in what you're doing, and you don't have to worry about things you can't control. This is my advice today. I know it's not perfect, but it's what I got, and I hope, I really hope this helps some of you out there because I went through a lot of emotional stress through this whole process, and I feel like where I'm at now, I really didn't need to do that. So I'm sharing that with you. Hopefully it helps you out. Look, guys, if you like the content, like I said before, make sure you subscribe so you keep up with it. But otherwise, if you guys want to talk to me, get in the comments below, have questions. I always get back to all my commenters. Otherwise, if you want to catch me live, the links are down below. I could the links are down below. I could be live right now. You never know. But until next time, take care.